Who cares? Fucking YouTube is still going to take it down. It's Monday the 20th. A beautiful fucking day to be alive. Spring has come. You know what I'm saying? Lee was saying to me, you know, it's spring. Aren't you excited? I go, yeah, I'm excited. Now it's hot out. Now I get to stand outside with the people I don't like. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the same fucking thing. Spring is great. I love it. It's going to rain a lot. It's been fucking cold in Jersey last couple days. That's why I got the heavy. Excuse me. I'm still burping up my little chocolate milkshake, my little protein shake made with water and fucking protein powder. Who the fuck? When did this become popular? I got to put like 20 ice cubes in my blender to give the fucking protein shake substance. Water with protein? I mean, listen, milk will fucking clog me up anyway. I mean, I do like two protein shakes a week. I have this other recipe that I do with raspberries, coconut water, and vanilla protein powder. I just can't find the vanilla protein powder. I think that's out of stock. The fucking COVID put it back and, uh, you know, everybody's delayed. I don't know what the fuck happened. When I got here, it was always there, the vanilla protein powder. Now, and it's a certain vanilla protein powder. Like, protein powders taste like dick. Let's get that shit out of the way. There was one po- protein powder that I loved, and that's on it. Uh, the original protein, the cacao shake protein they had was so fucking delicious it was so fucking delicious and then they had the they switched over to the mexican chocolate and that was good too but all i I try you know when you go to a a fucking vitamin place you try i try like the littlest container of the protein powder i've tried like three of them they taste like dick see when i was a kid you had egg and milk protein that tasted like nothing so when you made a shake you just put two scoops of that in a fucking some haagen vanilla ice cream in that motherfucker and some uh, wheat germ. Forget about it. You be fucking humming like a bird, cocktuckers. People keep asking me, why don't I run for fucking uh, politics? And I'm like, you know what? I'm a felon. But then I'm like, wait. If fucking Santos could pull it off, I could definitely pull it off, guys. This fucking guy, I mean, you know, just the... I keep laughing at this shit that he fucking beat some guy out of dog money or some shit like this. I've done a lot of creepy fucking things, but I've never beat somebody out of fucking dog money. That's for goddamn sure. But it's a beautiful day. We got a great week coming up. We got a fucking arrest warrant for Putin. We got fucking Trump's going to jail tomorrow. There's an arrest warrant for him. I mean, you know, I'm not even into politics and I don't give a fuck, but I'm kind of jealous. Everybody's got an arrest warrant. Where's my warrant? How come I don't fucking get arrested? Last week, I almost got a fucking arrested. This is a great story for you guys because people are losing their fucking minds, guys. I leave jujitsu. I'm behind my friend Ken Chan. We're both, like, I'm right behind him. Maybe two car lengths. I'm doing the speed limit, okay? There's a Carvel on the corner. In Old Bridge, off of 520. It's my favorite fucking Carvel. It's a drive through and they've been there since Jesus left Chicago. The woman who owns it, when she's working there in the daytime, that's the best fucking Carvel, anything you'll ever get in your life. She's been working with them for years. Anyway. We're right there. I'm counting the numbers. Seven, six, five. So I know I got to beat this Jersey Yellow. So I see Ken runs the the yellow as soon as it turns. So I got time, and I run the yellow. Only I'm looking straight ahead, and as Ken runs the yellow, a person is sitting there with their fucking Toyota, whatever the fuck it is, and waiting. Now, this person could have waited till he gone, but no, he stepped on it. He or she, God forbid, he, she, he stepped on it, cutting my friend off like my friend was just fucking beating a light and you want to pull out in front of him slowly you dumb fuck so now i see her or him go this way and my friend ken goes around but now i'm stuck with her i've been fucking you know i'm busting through that light and now i slow it down she wasn't even doing 40 or 30 she kept it like that for five minutes at like 20 and now the people behind me are beeping at me. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's not me. You know, I, I can't say anything. I'm just driving the fucking car. And I'm like, what the fuck is this lady doing? 
or this man, whatever the fuck it is, because he had tinted windows. So finally, you know, 20 miles a fucking hour. I'm doing 22 behind her. It's definitely a 35 or a fucking 40. After five minutes, I get fucking fed up as shit. I got shit to do. I got to take a shit. I'm hungry. I got to meet somebody at three. I fucking gunned that car. You know, it was legal to go around her. They had the one line, you know. I go around. I'm doing like fucking. I just, she, she had me pinned for so fucking long that when I blew around, I just had to get the fuck out. I'm like, this lady, I'm going to kill this dumb motherfucker. So I pull around and I just take the fuck off, right? I take it. I get on the fucking nine. I'm about to hit the nine. And do you know, I look up at the rearview mirror and here that car comes with smoke coming out of it. It's doing like 100. You were doing 20 for fucking 10 minutes. Now you want to be fucking speed racing. She pulls up next to me. It's a she. African-American woman. Cute as fuck. She pulls up. And she goes, excuse me. And she got her phone in her hand. I taped you and I called the police. Uh, I'm trying to drive my son. I'm doing the speed limit. And I, I was just looking at her like, I'm not going to say nothing. This ain't enough to say. And she goes, are you listening to me? I'm going to call the police and they're going to arrest you for speeding by me. And, 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 you know, I got my son in the car and I'm trying to be safe. She had Georgia plates. And I go, stop it right there. Stop right there. So you do doing 20, but then for the last half mile, you're doing 80 to catch up to me. Get the fuck out of my face. The light turned green. I just went. When I was at the next light down, she comes around again with the cell phone again. Like, you know, I'm like, call the police. Call the police. What do I? I mean, I didn't do nothing. I didn't, first off, guys, I got a zero points on my fucking license. And it's been like that for the last fucking 15 years. Okay, I've got, you know, <laughs> I got zero points on my license. I think the most points I've ever had on my license was two in Colorado because I ran a fuck. I was doing 40 and a 35, uh, one of those blinking lights with the fucking school zone. <laughs> and I was fucking, uh, another time I did something. Oh, I was driving with uh, a car, uh, it was for sale sign car, one of those fucking dealer cars. And it had like 1998 clearance. You can't drive with ink on your fucking windshield. So they gave me a point for that. That's the most I've ever fucking had. So I obey the fucking driving rules. As I don't obey shit, but I've got to tell you something. You can't do dick without a fucking car. You could do plenty without this, plenty without that, but you lose your fucking driving privileges, your driving privileges, you don't know what life is. 